I never believed that the United States of America would invade another country who hadn't done anything, overthrow that government, and occupy them. That's what the Nazis did. That's what the communists did. And now we've done it. And then when you add torture to the mix, that the United States now tortures people. Think of that. Shouldn't we be above that? We of all people. And yet, you had 16 Republican candidates this year, all 16 of them who I deemed ineligible to be our president. Every one of them should be disqualified. You want to know why? Every one of them said they tortured. So here you have a, com a potential commander-in-chief who's admitting would commit a war crime before taking the job. We're comfortable with that, people? I'm not. I ain't, and I'm a veteran. I'm not comfortable with that at all. And I'll finish by telling you, because water <coughs> warning is torture. I've had it done to me. I know what it is. Had it done at Sears School. It was required before you went to Southeast Asia. And I'm a swimmer. I'm a frog man. You'd think water and us, hey, we can, that's our, down our line of work. So when a frog man is telling you it's torture, think what it'll be due to somebody who ain't a strong swimmer isn't comfortable with water. Like they got Khalid Sheikh Mohammed down at Gitmo. Oh, he confessed to 9-11. Really? Then it came out they waterboarded him 161 times. I got news for everyone in the room. Each and every one of you would have did 9-11 if they waterboarded you 160 times. <laughs> Waterboarding is torture. It's not some walk in the park or splashing water on somebody's face it gives you first thing it does they put you on a slight decline how many people have been in the water and got water in your sinuses where it burns well the first thing it does it fills up every sinus cavity in your body imagine the pain of that for a moment then it gives you the complete feeling that you are drowning and like this Khalid Sheikh Mohammed that they claim confessed to 9-11 Gee, they waterboarded him 157 times. I got news, everybody in this room would have confessed if they waterboarded you 150 some times. No one could survive that, nobody. Because torture, why do you think we don't allow it in a court of law? Because if you're being tortured, you're gonna say anything to stop the torture. It has no credibility to it. And I'll counter you with this. We had a terrorist attack in Oklahoma City. Many people thought there were more involved than Timothy McVeigh and Nichols, the two guys. Why didn't we waterboard them? Why weren't they waterboarded? So we could find out what they knew, could find out whether more attacks were looming. Was there more conspirators in this? How come? So you think it's Pierce? inconsistent? I think it's very inconsistent. I think the only people that get waterboarded are people of the Muslim faith. Because nobody else is getting waterboarded. Why didn't we waterboard McVeigh and Nichols? We had them. In fact, we put one of them to death and the others in prison for life. Why weren't they waterboarded? To find out what they knew. What do you think of Guantanamo Bay? You Beck? haven't asked him my question, Pierce. I'm not answering any of the questions. Well, the You're the one is, being interviewed. But it's a good question, isn't it? Why, why were these it's guys a, waterboarded a and these guys not yeah. waterboarded? No, but remember the dynamic of the interview, Jesse. I'm interviewing you. All right. It's your views yeah, I'm trying to remember, get. remember, I've been in your seat, so it's hard. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Guantanamo Bay? I think it's atrocious. I think it's awful. I, I've, I'm so disappointed that Barack Obama didn't close it. In a court of law, every one of these guys is going to walk. Because anything gotten by torture is inadmissible. We are a supposed civilized nation who should not stoop to that regardless of whatever the results would be. Because if you stoop to that level, you can never get back what you, could, what you have. Jesse, a remarkable thing has just happened. I agree with you.